how to post carousel on facebook good day ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to this channel today i'm going to show you an awesome awesome trick i'm going to show you how to post a carousel post on facebook without actually having to pay for it so i'm sure you've seen these carousel posts before you can basically scroll through them and uh, you can see them like a catalog so i'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do this the first thing you want to do on your facebook page is make sure on the top right hand side you have selected the profile that you want to be posting in on the left hand side you will see your meta business suite and right from here you can tap on that and we will jump straight into the meta business suite now from here you can go ahead and look for all tools now once you've opened all tools you're going to go ahead and look for your facebook ads manager and it's just underneath advertise it's second from the top and you're going to tap on that you're going to open this now basically from your ads manager you can manage all of your posts all of your ads all of your campaigns so we're going to go ahead now and right from this page you're going to go ahead and you have campaigns ad sets and ads you're going to tap on campaigns and then you're going to tap on create now there's a few different types of campaigns that you can create and this literally all depends on the kind of audience that you're wishing to attract as well as the kind of objective you are hoping to fulfill so over here you can see you can choose a campaign objective and if you go ahead and hover your cursor over each one of them it gives you a bit of an idea of what you can gain so here you um, if you're looking for reach brand awareness video views or a store location awareness that is great um, if you're looking to drive traffic we're gonna go over there if you're looking for engagement this is the one that you need of course if you're looking for leads um, you got instant forms messenger and Instagram leads uh, conversions and then of course calls app promotions and sales if you are trying to drive sales now the example I'm going to use today is the engagement and the reason for this is because I want clicks on my actual carousel I want people to click on the messenger button so we're going to click on that we're going to tap on continue and here you are faced with either using the recommended settings which I don't recommend I recommend you go into manual engagement campaign which is at the bottom that means you set up everything manually now we're going to tap on continue and on the next page you get to define everything about your campaign we're starting now right at the top and we get to name our campaign and i'm literally going to go ahead and just name it new engagement campaign 2 for example purposes and there's nothing really else that you have to take care of over here because we're creating a campaign but we're not going to be using it as a paid campaign so we're going to go ahead and at the bottom we're going to just tap on next now directly from here you get to add um, an ad set name at the top again it doesn't really matter you're going to go through to conversion and from conversion you can now um, choose uh, if you want to drive engagement and where you want to drive engagement so we're going to go ahead and we're going to tap on messaging apps um, if you have a website of course you get people to engage with your website you can use that one if you want phone calls or if you want people to interact on your actual ad you can use that if you want to redirect them to a Facebook page you can do that too I'm going to go ahead and use the messaging apps and um, there's nothing else here that you need to take care of except for the actual Facebook page that you are um, interacting with now remember in the beginning I said make sure that you choose the correct um, page that you're going to be working on so over here you're going to going to tap on the pencil icon and we're going to choose the correct page that we want to be working with over here you can see now I'm working with the in essence photography and videography and we can now choose our messaging apps now I'm going to use Facebook messenger because it's on Facebook but if you have a whatsapp number or if you have an Instagram account that's connected you can go ahead and do that I'm gonna deselect that and I'm just gonna have a whatsapp number there make sure that your number is correct of course if you want to connect another you can and we're not going to worry about the actual budgeting and bidding because we're not actually going to be paying anything for this we're going to tap on next now and here is the exciting part you now get to name your ad again we're going to go ahead and just leave it 
as is and you have your identity and then you have your ad setup. Now this is important. We are here to create an ad. We do not want to use an existing post. If you really want to, you can, but we're going to create a new one. And then we have the single image or video, which is not the selection that we want. We're going to go ahead and we're going to tap on carousel. Now carousel is the one that we want. And when you're doing the carousel, you're going to have to select a bunch of images and then you're going to have to put headings on each one of those images. So as you go down over here, you get the ad creative and it says that you can put 10 cards up. So you have to use at least two, of course, to make it a carousel and we're going to tap on add cards. Now here you can add images or videos. We're going to go ahead and add images. Now what you can do is you can actually add images from your Facebook account or you can change the account. You can also go ahead and add images from Instagram or you can go ahead and you can change the page that you're actually taking the images from. If you would like to upload new images from your device, on the right hand side there's an upload button. You can go ahead and select them right over there. I'm now going to go ahead and select 10 images and it's preferable to select images that are in 916 aspect ratio or 1 to 1 aspect ratio so either um, in landscape or a square image i have now selected the 10 images i'd like to use i'm gonna tap on continue on the bottom of the screen now here is the point where you have to enter a headline for every one of your images because they're coming up as individual cards so of course there's some uh, error messages on the right hand side and that's literally because none of the images have headlines so this is the first image you can see over here, I can enter in a headline and here you can put something like um, book now. Uh, you can also use alternative um, headlines such as um, looking for a photographer. You can really get creative with the headlines because your audience is going to see the headline straight on without actually having to go into the post. You can also include an additional description if you really want to, and that'll just give you one or two lines of detail underneath your headline. If you're unhappy with the order of your photographs, you can actually just move them around by putting your cursor over the little dots on the left-hand side of the image, clicking down and just dragging them into position. On the right-hand side, you can actually see um, a preview of what your ad is going to look like. And we're going to go ahead on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, we're going to tap on publish. Now, this will take some time to actually publish uh, due to the fact that you've got 10 images to actually process. So if you come back to your ads manager, you can see now that these two with the blue um, toggle switches, these are the campaigns that I've actually created now. So this is the one that we were working on. And what you want to do is you want to put them off. So you want to make sure that they're not actually public and they're not actually running. So we know now, though, that it is still in draft or it's off. And that is great. So you're going to go over to the left hand side and you're going to tap on all tools. Now from here you are going to scroll all the way down and you're going to look underneath the engage customers and you're going to tap on page posts. Now once you do that you will get to a page that looks like this. Now it does say published posts have moved to the meta business suit but we are not working with published posts. We're going over to the left hand side and we're tapping on ad posts. Now over here you can see that this is the ad that we've actually uh, just built now and we're going to tap on this. Now the instructions from here are very very straightforward. You can actually see a preview of what your carousel post looks like. And remember earlier on, we had the option to either put Messenger or a website or WhatsApp or our Facebook page right over here. So now having that WhatsApp button there, if somebody taps on that, it takes them directly to my WhatsApp. And then there's the book now or looking for a photographer, you know, whatever headline you wanted to put on there. On the top right hand side now, you can tap on actions and literally just tap on publish and your post has now been published. And if you go now, after a few minutes back to your Facebook page like this and you go over to your own feed. So if you look at the left hand side of the screen, you can tap on your page name and your carousel post will actually now be featured right over here. As you can see on the right hand side, it has been posted and I think it looks quite amazing. If you're on a mobile, you'll be able to slide this across. But on the desktop version, you can see this is what it actually looks like. 
If you want to learn more cool tips and tricks, you can go ahead and tap on this video and we will see you on the other side.